Maya talks about the 25th anniversary of her self-titled debut album. From what I can remember and looking back, there were huge pop acts at that time. And, you know, hip hop was mainstream and there were other R&B acts as well. But you stood apart when you released this album. And I think the word that comes to mind when I think about, <laughs> when I think about this album <laughs> is very polished. Now I that's gonna like be a meme. It gives me energy because I've been up since till five in the morning yeah. and it's been compressed. So, wow, lead off. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Well, yes, well, you I'm look listening. great. Let's again. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, but. Yeah, all those accolades, mm -hmm. everything that was happening at the time, and you still stood out, I think you were very polished. Um, that's why I thought you mm -hmm. had uh, vocal training from the beginning, because I think you have a really polished studio sounding voice compared to all the different types of R&B voices that we hear, especially now. Um, but it seems like despite having yeah. success so early, early on you never well, lost track you know i was a baby happen. when i did uh, start but i had great people around me to guide me and i wasn't a dummy and i wasn't a stranger to just a lot of things artistically and um i had a very very strong family dynamic and a father as well as a mother there were independent thinkers all their lives and they raised one <laughs> And, um, you know, you just take it day by day, one day at a time, and you hold on. It's a blessing. It's all a privilege to do something that you love and then it to be a career. And in ways that you can touch people, those, those are priceless opportunities. And at the end of the day it's not really about me it's not about any of us it's about how we can utilize the gifts and use them for good thanks for tuning in to nine mag tv